I don't know if your brain is all scrambled from like all the molly you take. I did not expect that. Bitch, you better be joking. She's so oblivious of what's happening. Grace Kazaji here, and guess what? I'm back again with a new video. So, this video is gonna be a bit different, okay? Well, not necessarily different, it's just that I haven't done this in a very long time. So, I'll be doing a whole makeup video. But this time, I decided to do like a whole euphoria makeup look because I've been wanting to do a video like this for a very long time, but never actually got the time or the type of look that I wanted to do on camera because, like, the makeup looks can be a bit extreme. So, that's why I'm just like, bro, when are you actually gonna do this? And I'm actually gonna be creating the look while talking about euphoria and actually showcasing a few of my favorite scenes i have my jewels and i have my glitter so without further ado let's get into this video honestly speaking euphoria is literally like one of the best shows that i've literally ever watched to be honest i've literally watched season one like two to three times and i actually believe that it deserves the hype that it's getting i mean like maybe some of the scenes are like oof too much powder maybe some of the scenes are like too extreme or like too exposing but like the context of it all i personally feel like it's amazing okay i feel like some storylines are actually very very relatable it's actually getting to one of my favorite iconic scenes which literally live rent free in my head so i actually have quite a lot of like favorite scenes from the show but like most of them are basically from season one well obviously because there isn't much of season two yet so one of the scenes from season one is basically where jules basically tells cat to like you know, bro. Mm. Bitch, this is in the 80s. You need to catch a dick. And one of the other ones is where Maddie and Cass were basically at the carnival and they were getting themselves some molly. And when Ashtray asked them how many pretzels they wanted, Maddie basically responded with, they don't eat carbs. How many pretzels do you want? We don't eat carbs. Two, please. So one of my other favorite scenes is basically where Maddie confronts Nate in front of his parents at the carnival. Maddie is such a badass. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here right now because I'm dressed like a hooker and none of you like me. But I just wanted to say congratulations. Maddie, get out of here. <laughs> what in God's name is your problem? You cut. <laughs> you know, one thing I like about the show is that like these people literally come at each other. They're literally just so honest with each other, which is why one of my other scenes. I know it was a bit like, you know, dramatic and whatnot, but like a lot of points were made in the scene. So basically it's a scene where Maddie basically confronts Kat for not being a good friend while she was having her downfall with Nate because of their toxic relationship. I wouldn't worry about it, Cassie. It's not like you guys are going to be together forever. Kat, what the fuck is your problem? You're being a bad friend now. You are a bad friend to me and this whole new personality is seriously unlikable. World star. Why? Because I won't sit and listen to you bitch and moan about your psychotic, abusive boyfriend who you've literally broken up with a thousand times. It was literally the lowest point in my life. So yeah, that and the fact that you're just fucking mean. Maddie, ever since I've met you, all you talk about is yourself, your clothes, your boyfriends, whatever superficial shit you think is so fucking important. Sorry, I'm no longer interested. I don't know about everyone else, but I miss the old cat. You know, the one who had a sense of humor and wasn't a fucking cunt? Damn. So the next scene is literally the one that lives rent free in my head. Like, honestly speaking, when I'm randomly doing something, or probably when I'm in the show, I would literally just like, you know, say this phrase all over again. With dick pics. The ones you told me about on his phone. I don't know if your brain is all scrambled from like all the molly you take, but I never said that. If you spread a lie like that, I will fucking come for you. We good? Yeah. Okay, so in this next scene, Rue basically disrespects her mom's date because she has a problem with him. And her mom asks her to apologize and the apology. I did not expect that. Apologize right now. In retrospect, that was a little cunty. But Rig does suck and I was angry for a lot of reasons. Rick, I sincerely apologize for telling you to go fuck yourself. What I really meant to say is that my mom can do better and I hate seeing you sit in the chair my dad sat in. 
So my next favorite scene is basically Faye, okay? This is basically a new character in season two. This character is just, she's so oblivious of what's happening and it's so funny. The scene is basically where Rue asked her like how New Year's was and she didn't actually know it was New Year's. I'm Faye. Yeah. Faye, I'm uh, Rue. <laughs> How's your New Year's going? What? New Year's. It's fucking New Year's? Uh, I believe so. Why is it New Year? I swear my boyfriend doesn't tell me anything. This next scene is basically where Rue states that introductions are basically debilitating for her. And this was the moment where she basically introduced Elliot, who she met on New Year's while doing drugs, to her girlfriend who thinks she's been clean this whole time. Yo, Rue. Hey. What's going on? Hi. Hi. Nothing. I'm Jules. Sorry, this is Jules. Hey, I'm Elliot. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Introductions are usually very um, overwhelming and debilitating for me, at least. In this next scene, this is basically where Gia asks Rue if she's high. For this scene, I'm just like, you know, obsessed with how great Zendaya is at acting. She's so good. Rue? Are you high? Oh, fuck me. Was she there the whole time or did she just walk in? I mean... <laughs> So my next favorite scene is actually where Lexi is deciding on what her sister is going to wear in her play. Like, this is actually so funny. I'm just like, does this really the way you see Cassie? Like, damn, sis. Sluttier. Tackier. Sloppier. Final touch, the jewels. This is literally the most trickiest part ever because I need to find a way to actually get them to stick on. And it's gonna take me a pretty long time, so let's do this. So before we actually get into the jewels, my next favorite scene is basically where Cassie was so obsessed with getting Nate's attention. Oh my goodness. Her character is so whoa. She even had to dress as Maddie. And for those three hours she spent getting ready, she only thought about one thing. There was also something refreshing about the amount of time she was putting into herself. Out of sight, out of mind. Of the ritual, the attention to detail. The anxiety and excitement she felt in her stomach. Even if Nate pretended not to notice her. It was her way of telling him that she was his. Wait, why? Oh, are my class is live. The next scene is basically where Rue asks Cassie whether she's dressed for their play. She actually took this to offense, which is why I think Cassie basically dresses for like, you know, other people's opinions. While Maddie, on the other hand, basically dresses for herself. So I'm just there, like, girl, does it matter what they think though? Hey, Rue. Hi, Cass. Wait, are you in the play? My play. Lexi's play. What do you mean Lexi's play? Uh, the play that Lexi wrote. Oklahoma. What? 
place called Oklahoma. No, the drama club's doing Oklahoma. Oh my God, do I look like I'm in Oklahoma? Why would your play be set in Oklahoma? You thought I was auditioning for Oklahoma. I haven't read it, so. Are you making fun of me or did you actually think I was auditioning for Oklahoma? Why the fuck would you audition for Oklahoma? I'm not. Then why the fuck do you look like you're auditioning for Oklahoma? Do I? Yes. Has everyone read Oklahoma but me? Oklahoma was like a play you read. Bro, are you on drugs? Yes. You realized? Uh, I've just, nah, I've just been smoking a little bit of weed. Wait, I don't understand. If you're not auditioning for Oklahoma, then why do you look like that? Like what? Like a country music star. In a good way or a bad way. Bitch, you better be joking. Are you okay, Kat? No! The next scene that I am literally obsessed with is a scene where Fez interrogates Cal. The scene had me on the floor. What disc of Jewel and I? Yo, you recorded that shit? I didn't know. You didn't know that you were recording? I fucked up. Obviously, man. Well, who the fuck even told you I gave a shit about this anyway? My son. Your son, the one that's in love with Jewel? Oh, that's cute. That's not cute, man. What the fuck? What? What kind of weird ass father son shit is going on around here, bro? I'm extremely confused. You're confused? I'm fucking confused, bro. Me too. I don't even know what the fuck you're doing here. And last but not least, my favorite scene of all time, episode four, the puking scene. The scene just had me like, bro, this is wild. This is so flippin' wild. I'm not crazy, right? Because he's always trying to gaslight me. Wait, I don't want to argue about this. You see, this is why I don't believe you when you make all these promises and you're like, oh, let's get back together. You're the only person in the world I care about. You're a goddess and it's my fault for not treating you like a goddess. I promise, Maddie, I'll change, I'll grow, I'll be better. I don't deserve you, but I love you. Please, when I go to college, move with me, marry me, have my babies. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually getting dark outside and this lighting is not gonna last forever so I just wanted to say that this is basically the finishing touch. So all I did was basically just added blush, added some lashes and lip gloss and that's basically it. I'm probably gonna go take Instagram pictures just for like marketing purposes. So that's basically it. If you enjoyed watching this video then please do not forget to like, comment, share and if you aren't subscribed then please press that red subscribe button and I'll definitely see you next week Sunday with a new video. Bye! What a wonderful world.